No, that's the wrong game. It's the wrong game. And not only is it the wrong game, but you just lost it. Boom. No, N and N is over. <laughs> uh, it's oh, not that. This browser's, un this browser's unsupported. Let me go back to Chrome. <laughs> Which browser were you using? Opera. What? Like what? what is it's that? Opera GX. Oh, never, never if heard. you're, it's really good for gaming because you can limit how much RAM and CPU it uses. Ooh. Very cool. Never heard of it, but that that sounds amazing because uh, Chrome eats up so much. Yeah, this has a hard limit, so if you want to say like 2 gigs of RAM, and that's a hard limit, it'll never go over. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I went back to Firefox because while I, I will say that I do enjoy Chrome, it is very much just a could you not when you're trying to yep. stream. Could you not use 18 gigs of RAM, please? I need that for my game. It's like, it's like, my computer is awesome, but it is still eating up just an obscene amount, and it is not helpful. It's like, just stop. And it's like, it's all no. the trackers. Yeah, exactly. They're like, but but the FBI wants to watch your game, too. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like, stop. <laughs> well, they can follow my channel. Yeah, they can, oh, like, the be, a, be an actual viewer like everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't be tracked. Hmm. Oh, right, we just got here. Okay, right. Yeah, we just arrived. <laughs> I can only see my player icon. Everything else is black. I don't know. Did I do something wrong? Should I refresh? Uh, zoom out. Oh. Okay, that was weird. Yep, that worked. Be right there. Yep. Yeah, the same thing happened to me. I actually couldn't oh. even see my player icon. I see a bunch of frogs. Rivet. They're riveted for her pleasure. Alright, all the notifications are out. Bask in our beautiful faces, except they're frozen. Okay, <laughs> always happens. There we go. Bask in our beautiful faces. Whoosh. Okay. Sploosh. Sploosh. <laughs> glorious. Thank you, Frost. We are glorious. So, uh, I will remind everybody that our wonderful sponsor today is Grinding Coffee Co. Grinding Coffee for all your grinding coffee needs. I am still pitching this advertisement. I'm just watching my dog because we're dog sitting again. And he looked like he was up to no good, but he's actually just licking his paws, so it's fine. Um, anyways, Grinding Coffee Co. Dogs love them. Um, that is not true. I don't recommend giving coffee to dogs, but <laughs> if, if a dog were to drink coffee, yes, that is all. Do they, they make coffee for dogs? I hope so. Man, could you imagine dog coffee? That'd be wild. No. <laughs> please, please, no. no. Please, no. Oh, I think that's the last thing anybody wants. No, it's, it's, it's my place, like, like, not your practice. Time. Make sleepy time coffee for dogs. Look, if you don't believe me, I stole my dog's <laughs> lamb chop, and she hates that. Yeah. The lamb chop, or you're stealing? Stealing the lamb chop, because she, like, like, it's the most aggressive she gets, because she's a terrier, so it's, yeah. when she when she gets her hunter mode, it, it's versus her lamb chop. Oh, and then I got a kiss. The boxer just gave me a kiss trying to pick the box, or the terrier up. It's just like, you're vulnerable. All right. Oh, Box is a great. He is. He's a great boy. Uh, let's see here. Hold on. Let's do this. Everybody... Oh, extreme. Oh, hold on, because it's not going to work because of the thingy. Um, <laughs> I got to turn the the thingy that kills the. Yeah. Weird. 
How do I how do I turn that off? Settings. Discord. Uh, nope, change video. the background. I found it. Alright. Don't yeah. click don't click the jokey pictures. Nico. Nico. Come to me. Come dog. You're neither of you. <laughs> there we go. Can you see him? No. No? It's okay, just background's still up. Oh it hasn't changed. Okay. There we go. That's the Oh there we are. Yes, right. there you it's, an, hey. it's an adorable dog. Yeah, and that's her lamb shop. Come here. Look over here. No, that's ah, a great dog. <laughs> yeah, he's a good boy. He just, he likes to sit away from me, and he's just like, pet me. And it's just like, okay, I will, because I love you. And he's like, good. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to put this back on. All right, and he's just like, you stop petting my hand, and then he'll just lick my arm. There we go. Okay, uh, that's enough stalling for me. Grinding coffee cup for all your coffee needs. Uh, for everybody who buys some grinding coffee, I will continue to pet the dog. <laughs> Treat this dog right. Buy some coffee. Treat this dog right. Buy some coffee. Use promo code Party White Games. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Um, and we also have a Patreon. And uh, a Patreon reward will definitely become videos of just the dogs. I'll, I'll make it a thing if people sign up. <laughs> yeah. I'm not selling out. My dogs are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not selling out. My... No, no, no. There we go. Okay. That's twice in one night. Yep. All right. So are we are we ready? Are we good? Are we here? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'm here, but I don't remember uh, why we're here. But, you know. <laughs> uh, does anybody actually remember why we're here? Yeah, someone. Give me a recap. Dougler takes great notes. Yeah. No, I, I don't. I, I'm wondering, what, uh, I'm wondering what, uh, what, what, what everybody remembers. We fought some ribbits. Fight some rabbits? No, we fought. Nope. We fought rabbits. We were getting. That's our, what I said. We were getting our ass kicked by rabbits. Murdering. I don't rabbits. know. I don't know about you, but I murked quite a few rabbits. I mean, mm, that's debatable. We softened them up for you. I think I kicked a couple, and I backflipped a couple of you. Yeah. Well, we we had them, right, dude? We had them on the ropes. They were absolutely. I say as I try to stop the bleeding. <laughs> yeah, just coughing up blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we saved you. That's that's what actually happened. Cough. <laughs> that was a long time. Oh. <laughs> that's really inside. Uh, I got enough, that's fine. You all were almost almost, almost overwhelmed. You, you downsized them greatly. But we're almost overwhelmed until uh, until two new Marshall uh, favoring. Ah, the camera's froze again. Hold on. I hate this thing so much. There we go. We're not frozen. Okay, sorry, hun. No worries. Until uh, until uh, some some uh, new friends arrive to uh, finish them off for you. Does anyone remember what happened after that? Uh, we made our way here. to the Frog Village here. Mm -hmm. And currently we're trying to find some uh, lodgings, essentially. So we're not ready for another fight right now. Uh, Shiny, yeah, at the request of Uncle Costantine, helped patch a hot air balloon. That at all. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you, you might need to help us. Yes. I'll give you a quick little. <laughs> the Feywild, your memories disappeared. Um, so you all arrived in Downfall, met a couple of friendly bullywugs who uh, who were willing to give you a little bit of information and directions to their king. After you all had. Uh, Assisted in repairing their, uh, or repairing a uh, swamp gas balloon. Um, they ferried you across the river, 
uh, to uh, right next to a building that was lit on fire. And on the inside, you all could see little, little, like, fire lights running around on the ground, and uh, another bully will trying to put out, out the flames that kept relighting. Um, you opted to go right past the building, and promptly ran into Clapper Claw, Clapper Claw the Scarecrow. Had a little, oh, right, the Scarecrow. Yeah, had a little bit of a, a small conversation with, with them, and the, and... A whole bunch of uh, uh, bullywog heads that were skewered on spikes, all talking. Does anyone remember what happened in this conversation? Uh, he talked about. Nope, not that's the wrong granny. Uh, granny Nightshade, mm -hmm. and that he knows how to get to Tither. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tither. Yeah. And that she's a bad person, whoever this granny is. And and uh, uh, the what's his face rabbit stole his head. Yes. Right. Yeah, we were gonna we we're gonna give him a new head from the same rabbit, but then we somebody botched that cough. <laughs> it, it was creepy. Okay. <laughs> Um, we're not used to having heads given to us. Yeah. We only like this the scarf. It's true. We're not used to giving head. We're just used to getting it. <laughs> uh, got him. <laughs> yeah. Clapperclaw did express uh, did express remorse at uh, at the at the loss of a a as as they described it a very a very glorious stag skull. That they used to have, and they're not—they're not too keen on the gourd that they that they have at, uh, now. All the while, these um, these severed bullywog heads were all commenting and talking about, um, arguing with each other on who was the greatest, uh, the greatest monarch. And um, uh, many of who. Talks, uh, many of who indicated that the that other skewered heads beside them were previous uh, uh, previous monarchs who also stabbed them in the back and and filled their the new role as king. Oh, is this just the plot from that episode of Futurama with the water people? Kind of. Awesome, I love it. Let's go. Yeah. I'm gonna drink the the first holy I... wug I find. I, I know that uh, someone had said, oh, is anybody good at talking? And I just went, I just walked in and said, hello, friends. Hello, <laughs> frogs. Yeah. But um, that's where we'll pick up with the, the, I believe you all were having some conversations uh, or were or, or asking Clapperclaw about, um, uh, uh, about who they were, and they had just described the the stag skull that they had stolen, and said that uh, they think they used to be a kid. Mm -hmm. Tags and kids, am I right? Mm. Same yeah. Thing. But yeah, that's that's where we that's about where we pick up. Uh, Y'all have reached the, the this bridge that uh, Clapper Claw is on. Um, the bully will get all chattering amongst themselves as well. Uh, but is there anything else you want to ask any of them? What is the likelihood? A giant, of course. Yeah. What is the likelihood that the current king we're about to meet is going to get betrayed? Uh, Kel will translate. Um, Clapper Claw kind of like shifts a little bit and the gourd kind of like lists to one side. Uh, and then one of the bully will get said, uh, says, Oh, I already hear that there's another, uh, another coup underway. And, um, Aren't the coups normally violent to outsiders? Or bystanders? Another one speaks up, not usually, unless you want to get involved. And then, uh... Do we want to get involved? Uh, 
I'm so happy with me. Whoa! Like, I just whoa. kicked him. Yeah, uh, another head says, Well, uh, once, uh, it would do, it would do the Bullywog people well to see King Gulp the 19th uh, cast aside. He's a very, he's a weak ruler. Then another one says, yes, weak. And then another says, mm, very weak. Okay. So if we kill him, does that mean we take control of the village? Um, another severed head speaks up. Not exactly. You need to challenge his right to rule. You know, this says yes, and there's a, an arena, in fact, where you may do so in one-on-one -on -one combat. And if that happens, I can rule them? Uh, another uh, series of them speak up, and, they, and you, you hear something, something in the back, someone in the back. What was that? I couldn't hear them. And uh, one closer to the front says, um, uh, says, mm, possibly. I don't think, um, I don't think uh, we've had anyone who wasn't a bully one. Question, what happens if the king leaves the city I was gonna motion to the swamp around them. Like this area, like if they ever go to visit the for example, the paragons. Dead. You sucked. <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't be as funny as it is what it was. <laughs> should uh should we try to find a place for you guys to sleep? So uh I don't know, you guys want to take over this place, apparently? We we don't need to take over. It was yeah. it was, I was entertaining passing fancy. It happens from time to time. It was really weeks ago. Why are you still bringing it up? Do they know how to speak anything else? No, it's just giant. You just hear them talking in giant. With Joel translating. That must be tiring. Quite. At least it's interesting. So, should we go visit the king and see if we can't find shelter for the night? Then decide what to do about our main goal tomorrow, or throughout the night, I suppose? Yeah. Bit of, bit of Sounds a, good. There's a bit of a jingle as, um, as Clapper Claw kind of like turns around and just points with one of these giant crab claws uh, in the direction to an island on the other side of the bridge. If you're looking for the king, he's down that way. Well, the current king, anyway. To the next next five minutes or so. Well, um, I guess it, um, if you do find my 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 old head, I very much like it back. We'll keep an eye out for it. I appreciate it. I'll, I'll, I'll pat. I'll, I'll guide you to anywhere I know. Um, if you do. Well, how about you just stay safe for now? I'll do my best. 
And I will head over the bridge. Alright. So Shira will follow. Uh, Tochel. What time of day is it? Is this bridge dirty for a centaur and a giant snail? Let's if you're find careful. Out. <laughs> um, with the 21, you kind of like stare up through like all this mist and fog that's um, obscuring this uh, this canopy uh, with intertwined uh, branches. You do pick out that there are a few um, specks of light, but it's very dim he here. It's probably... And y'all have been awake for quite a while, too, at this point. Yep. So it's, it's probably pushing into the evening. Then uh, I will approach and as i see people i will say good evening friends and as you approach you see that on this island there's a grand marble gazebo um, it's just standing on top all the soggy earth there's white stone streaked with green and algae the support pillars have sunk into the muck unevenly so the dome canopy is kind of like a skew there's short steps ringing the gazebo, leading to a raised floor where holy wolves dressed in shabby clothing lounge on pillows. Among them, a harpist sends forth delicate notes that mingle with the, the murmured croaking of the gathered nobles. On a da uh, dais, there's a flabby holy wolf wearing a crown of woven lily flowers that sits on a who, who sits on an ornate throne with his legs folded under him. He has a large leather-bound book open across his lap, and he's mouthing and he's mouthing the words as he reads the pages. Without looking looking up, he says, mm, Have you no herald to announce your presence before King Gorup the nineteenth? And he slams the book shut. And as he does so, there's five sleepy Bullywood guards in armor who were standing around the gazebo who suddenly snapped to attention and grabbed their weapons. Um, but he looks up, uh, looks over, uh, looks over everybody there, um, and then his eyes kind of shift and then settle on Chell and says, Oh my! I didn't realize we were expecting an envoy. Oh, welcome. From which kingdom do you hail? Oh, and uh, are your knights speaking for you? For the moment, I think I should speak for myself. I am from quite far. Okay. I'm from the Witchlight. Welcome. Monarch of the witch eye to my kingdom. Tell me, why have you arrived? Is it to uh, offer your hand in marriage and secure an alliance between our two kingdoms? Yeah, it's definitely that one. I, yeah, I, I vote that one. You should definitely do it. Your knights seem all for it. <laughs> You know, it's like that was not the. I mean, you look like you're looking for for someone to marry, like right now. He's a he's a he's a real he's a real catch. Um, you know, they say they say that first kiss will turn him into a prince. A real catch. Look at this fellow. He he adjusts his flower crown and pets the the crocodile off to his side. Look at that crocodile. Mm. That croc would be all yours for the taking. 
the Chell just takes a breath just to uh, reset themselves. I will admit that would be quite the honor, but that is not the purpose of our travels here today. I have. It is not, no. My dear, deepest apologies. As I have only recently been crowned as monarch. Congratulations on your rise to power. I too have recently been crowned, and ever since my kingdom has been flourishing. As I have heard. Insight check. Insight check. <laughs> I also want to call bullshit on this guy. In giant. 13. Tan. Um. I just want a reason to roll my dice. <laughs> he believes it's flourishing. There is a building on fire, like, right across the bridge. Yeah. I didn't do that one. As I've heard. And that is part of the reason why I've come. I've... The... The way your village flourishes has been spread across the land, and I was hoping I could learn from you, so my own land could become as prosperous as yours. Oh, well, that's good. I was a little bit worried with some of the inner turmoil that uh, some of my subjects have. However, I think things are going swimmingly. It's... In fact, if you wish to learn... I could use your help. So, in in Giant, Zashir is going to look to Chell and just say, Hey, I just thought of something. I was going to lead over and listen. So, if we actually wanted to intervene and deal with this guy, they said that only the another Bullywog could challenge him. And, uh, you got that whole thing going. Could you, could you look like a Bollywog? Hey? What, what size are they? Medium. Theoretically, then, yeah, huh? Kill nod is like that is quite the fair point in the push tone you don't have to marry them but if we wanted to go the other route that uh uh flamey hotman wanted to take just throwing it out there you know we don't have to actually do anything but it would give some legitimacy, at least for the time being, before someone tried to murder you. But that is... It totally wouldn't think happen. rather worth considering. It totally <laughs> wouldn't happen, because we'd be here to help. I believe you should strongly consider that. You see the king kind of like looks up at a fly and his tongue just <laughs> catch the... See, he's well past his prime. I will say it's not the worst ideas. It's a possibility. Anyways, we should probably go back to talking uh, before he thinks we're plotting against him in Giant. Mm -hmm. Of course, you do make great. Right? It has been quite a long day for us. <clears throat> Of uh, your liege. As much as we would love to be able to help you right away, but our journey has been quite long and fraught with many dangers. In our current condition, I think we might not be the best of helps. If we could perhaps hear what you require, we would help you in the morning, maybe? Of course. I look forward to it. Uh, come, have a seat around my court. Relax. My kingdom is open to you. 
and he gestures around. There's there's little pillows uh, strewn about. Um, and feel free to explore the village to your heart's content. We here are a welcoming bunch. Now, as far as uh, how we might help each other, I can indeed instruct you on how to properly rule a kingdom with fairness and justness. However, it seems that not everybody is always going to agree with you. Very frustrating. Mm-hmm. I could imagine. Yeah. I disagree. <laughs> yeah. And he, he gestures to the to the book he's holding and says, I need something returned to uh and then kinda of leans forward. A certain someone in the middle of town. Of course, uh, this has come into my possession and I need it returned so that nothing uh nothing so that, so that, so that Bevlona knows that it is safe. Well, why What's did up? you, why, why did you take it from her if you... I didn't take it. Who did? I don't She's know. gonna want to know. I, I found it after, uh... After a little incident, uh, it seems that uh, a knight, one of my own fact, has uh, turned to treasonous acts and assisted in the uh, in the escape of a criminal. Gasp. Oh yes. no. Yes, uh, this criminal was uh, was uh, seized by Babylonia herself and my own knight in my own court such a such a shame but they had the book and I had to I need its returns and I need Bevlona to be assured that I didn't steal it but was in fact this knight who had gone astray and she will be punished of course to be betrayed by one year old knight mm-hmm. a trusted bond cannot imagine the pain that you feel from this. It hurts my heart to have to punish her so, but an effort to avoid any bad blood with Bevlorna. We must do what must be done. I'm gonna lean in and say uh, quietly, isn't it kind of tradition to be betrayed by your own? She points back to the heads on the spikes. (laughs) Oh, well, nod. We would be quite pleased to return the book for you and sort of any misunderstandings. That would be wonderful. Now, uh, there is quite a mess left uh, as a result of, um, my uh, former knight's um, actions. In fact, I think she started a fire at some point, destroyed a balloon, and the escapee, uh, some little dragon, ran off with another balloon and someone else. Oh, I see. I don't suppose you have information on the whereabouts of these individuals? A balloon and a dragon? And a what else? Uh, another, uh, another one of, uh, my subjects. Someone who, uh, who worked at the factory. I got nothing. Tell us that a uh, just look at the party and just I'm sorry but I do not think we have come across them at all if I could be certain I would most certainly tell you uh, 
Is that a deception? Yeah. Roll deception. <laughs> Twenty-two. I'm not even gonna bother. Good job. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Uh, currently, we cannot expend the forces to go after them. Well, you are. Uh... Uh, no, no, go ahead. No, you. You can go ahead. Okay. Uh, whatever happened to your knight that betrayed you? Currently being held in the in uh, our prison, awaiting trial, trial by combat. I see. <clears throat> well, the trial is what she deserves for betraying your trust. Indeed. When is this uh, trial by combat? I would like to watch. Mm, kind of like looks up. Uh, we haven't decided yet. Uh, however, I suppose we could have it soon. In fact, when we get a dinner party, dinner and a show. Oh well. Look to her party. It's and, past. Uh, it's past dinner time. Nonsense. We could have second dinner. Yes, but my companions need sleep. Hmm. Which is why we came for your aid, so of that course. they can sleep off their uh, their woes. Uh, take a lily pad, any lily pad you'd like. Very calming. He gestures out to uh, the lake where you can see um, these large uh, lily pads just kind of like floating uh, um, across the lake. You see a number of uh, other bully wolves that are just relaxing and uh, just chilling out. Or you can rest here and find a spot in the village that you enjoy. I think we should try to find a spot in the village that will not be in the way of any of your court here. As you wish. Return for uh, return to me when you're ready to deliver the book. Of course. He leans back and says, Harpists! Play another melody. I'm gonna go back by. So if we're if we're looking, if we can just be wherever we want to be to sleep, I'm gonna go back by the fire. What do you guys think? There's a nice building on fire. <laughs> All right. Will probably be as good as any. And they do. Then most things are not like to be near such a large fire, so they should give us some privacy as well. Yeah, not many people want to get too close to a fire. What do you think, uh, uh, Half Horse? What was your name? Uh, Verndari. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't uh, catch it in the battle. Uh, it's Verndari. Oh, yeah. Uh, I I don't need to really rest, but I mean, whatever the group wants to do, I'm I'm okay with. I I don't think I'd fit on a lily pad, or if I did, it would probably sink. So. I think we were gonna go back by that uh, burning building we passed. Ah. Uh. Little yeah, privacy good... for us. Dogs. It's a good, it's a good idea. Those swamp dogs. Swamp dogs. 
Dogs, dogs. <laughs> Right, that's wrong. Over there. Yeah. You said the, the burning. Brain. The burning building. Works for me. Um, I don't really need to sleep either, so I can take uh, first watch. I uh, don't trust these frog people. One of the, uh, as you all are leaving, um, there's one bully who kind of walks up to you and uh, passes uh, passes just a goblet of wine to Zeshir. And then just goes Bleep! and turns and leaves. Uh, I say a giant thank you. My knight appreciates your kind jester. Did everybody else get wine? No. You were the last one there. Oh. Um, well... They pass out. They, they pass out more wine for you all. So everybody can have some. Oh, okay. That was... It's like uh, a sip for the centaur. <laughs> oh. So sure we'll take a drink. They, they, they haven't had a chance to party yet. Okay. I'm sure it's fine. So... Returning to the uh, building that is currently on fire, um, there is just like smoke kind of like billowing out of it, and uh, you hear a splash of water on the inside, and then a damn it! Um, but you all find a place to uh, to set up. Um, as you all are enjoying the wine, uh, this year when you get to the bottom of your your goblet, uh, you find that there is a note inside. Oh dear. I read it. You speak Sylvan? Uh, yes. Alright. Inside, the message ring reads, Find Illig, the Baron of Muckstump, at once. How do you the spell? The revolution lives! How do you spell the villain? Illig. Um, yeah, please type that out. <laughs> Illig, the Baron of Muckstum. Um, so she's just gonna uh, finish their wine and then just kind of walk over to Chell just kind of tilt the, the glass so you can see it. I'll just gonna read the note. Oh my. You know, uh, we, don't, we don't necessarily need to find them. We could just find a picture of them. That is quite true. But is the challenge going to be a martial challenge or just one of straight combat? I'm not sure. Uh, Sashir got a note in their goblet saying to find Illich, the Baron of Muckstop. Stop at once. Shh. Oh, crap. Not out loud. Just gonna whisper that. Um. Can I do a perception to see if I can see anybody keeping an eye on us? Sure, can I make a check. Can I make a history check to see if I know what muck stump is? Uh yes. Um yeah. Actually, can I do that one too? Sure. Wow. Natural 20 for a 19. Not one for the yeah. perception. All right. <laughs> and right in the middle. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Okay. Um. I'll I'll start at the bottom and work my way out. Um, Vrindari, you've never heard of Muxcom before. It sounds like another dumb frog name. Um, fucking frogs. Yeah, fucking frogs. <laughs> 
Um, Cinder, uh, it doesn't make sense for you as uh, someone who has grown up in the Feywild. Uh, the Mutt Stump family is a uh, is a, a family of nobility among the among the uh, uh, Bullywugs, and among that that family, uh, some of them are uh, a bit ambitious. In fact, there's probably a, a couple Mutt Stumps that are uh, skewered on those spikes somewhere. Uh, would that let me know, like, where they live? Um, or how, where, where I could find them? There's probably a building somewhere in this village that, uh, that, uh, caters to their family. The, the muck stumps are a noble bullywug family. They're probably some skewered already. So I guess if we want to find them, we could just ask the heads? Or... Probably. Probably. Clapper probably the probably easiest. Yeah? Yeah. Can you do both of those things? Should we find him tomorrow, then see what his deal is, then decide if you want to help the succession? I definitely want to know what they're all about before we take sides. Yep. Yes, definitely. Two sides to every story. Most of seems to be on either end of a spear. And either way, I think we do want to get the book from the king. Because that might be a spell book. And if it is, that's going to be a great deal of help. Well, I mean, if he wants us to return it, he's probably going to give it to us. Sure. So we can look at it then. Mm -hmm. We don't have to give it back right away. And then we could decide if we want to throw him under the bus, tell him that he stole it. Then we don't have to deal with the revolution. We'll let the I already forgot her name. The witch. The witch. We'll just, we'll just let the witch deal with it. We'll just let the witch deal with it. it. Doesn't have to be our problem. Well, she is sort of our problem. Well, she is, but he's not. That is true. And, uh, yeah, if we can have her distracted with thinking he's the one who was, I don't know, behind dragging, this dragon getting out and stealing this book. Oh my gosh, maybe you frame him for it. It'll, uh, it it'll uh, leave us, leave us open. Aren't, isn't that the dragon that we met earlier and the person you associated with? Yes, it was. I, in the I mean... He just said a dragon. There are a lot of dragons. This this isn't the the little tiny dragon that we saw, right? Yeah, it is. The that is that oh, is the shit. okay. But there are a lot of dragons. Yeah, he didn't course. say I, I which one. I don't. I don't mean to say that you know you admit association with him. That would be bad. But if this is the same one, then we have more reason to deal with him. We'll put him on the list then. Yeah, that guy. You know, a perfectly normal dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing odd about that face at all. No, no, not creature. at all. 
Very nice dragon. A very Absolutely. nice dragon. <laughs> so, rest first? Yes. Yes, please. Yes. I will I will take first watch because I don't really need the rest. I'll take second. I will sleep. <laughs> I'll take third then. Alright. Uh give me give me some perception checks one at a time. I'll go first and uh I'm going first. Ooh. Oh, 20. Dang. Nice. Right in the middle. <laughs> oh, here comes a nat one. Dead. <sighs> nice. <laughs> some some food which consists of roasted insects and chocolate dipped bugs um you do see uh partway through your watch through one of the windows and this has been going on all night um at least so far you see a little coal kind of hop up on one of the window sills um and just kind of like hop around a little bit it's got two like two tiny little like arms, but there's but there's fire around it, but it pauses just to stare at you for a moment. And then hops down. And then you see some fire start to glow brighter. And then you hear a splash of water as some uh someone inside tries to put it out. Mm -hmm. Not the fire. I make the, uh, I, well, I don't know how to. This... I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with the produce flame in my hands. I'm not gonna throw it anywhere. Okay. Just gonna make, like, um, a little fiery ball and just kind of play with it a little bit while everybody sleeps watching the fire. Uh, a couple more of these cinders burning coals kind of like hop up and they see this flame and then they just start like dancing in time with the flickering of the fire or I'll make it a little bigger yeah they, they start to like hop up and down on the windowsill um and you just hear like little 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 <laughs> and then and then <laughs> there's and then one of them turns around and goes ah! and then they all jump down there's like a splash of water uh, across the windowsill um uh, but this just kind of goes on for a little bit. Um, once your watch ends, uh, Vrindari, yours goes uneventful as well. Um, so they had my eyes closed. <laughs> not, no, you, you think that maybe the, the, 
the flames on the inside of this building are a little bigger, but it's hard to tell. Um, and then, Chell, uh, as you're, as, as you take up watch in the, the latter half of this, uh, of your long rest, you notice uh, off to the side um, just a figure who wa- kind of wandering around, stepping across the uh, stepping across the stone walkway to the south. Kind of hops off. You can see he's got like a wide brim hat just covering their face, a cloak, um, and they use their they use like a walking stick to test you know where where the ground is, uh, is soggy or not, but they're dressed in rags, and, um, and just pause for a moment to kind of look around as if they're a little bit lost. Joel oh, will raise their hand and wave. And they notice and kind of turn, and you see, like, there's a cloth kind of over the face, and they kind of, like, tug it down, and you see... Uh, you see, you see, like, it's hard to tell, uh, if they're, if they're man, woman, or something else entirely. They're very androgynous, um, but they smile and they wave back and, um, kind of approach a little bit and says, uh, excuse me, have you seen, uh, Fake crossing anywhere? Uh, not anywhere near here. The last fake crossing I knew was on top of that big, um, that big bridge that was half taken out with the mushrooms. Give me directions. Uh, I would say it's to the south, but I don't know if that means much to the Fey Wild. <laughs> Shall we? vaguely direct where it was like uh but from where i came from um, i went across the west to where the paragon village is uh i will say to be be careful there are quite many thieves there there's right less now mm-hmm. but then we get there you want to go south but, you mean towards twilight uh Quite possibly. I'm still quite new to this area. It'd be Twilight be Joel Point, the direction which is south that she the name of. Alright. Um, I don't suppose you could offer me a change in case I need to hitch a ride or bribe someone. Well, I. Oh, that's the wrong sheet. Don't have much, but I could give you some. I'll no, actually just reach in and pull out three gold pieces and two rations. It is a bit of a trip. You probably need some food as well. Thank you very much. And he accepts the rations, or they accept the rations, and um, they take the three gold coins, and um, you see them. Uh, kind of like tuck it into under the cloak and immediately pull it back and you see that they're holding a um, a cylinder of some kind and they just hold it out to you. A cello take the cylinder. Uh, Thank you. Very well. Thank you. And they uh, they tip the the wide brim hat and turn and um and begin heading in the direction uh, you pointed them in. And they say, I'll see you, uh, I'll see you some years ago. Oh shit, is that me? <laughs> I'll see you some years from now, I'll go again, as well. Have safe travels. Oh. I'm sorry, what do you say? Oh, trouble. Laugh a little and smile like, I'll see you some years from now as well. Safe travels. Safe travels, indeed. Uh, and, uh, and they do 
they give you a bright smile as they uh, as they leave. Um, uh, you may mark the gold in the rations off, and you have a scroll case. Golden rations. Uh, can't I see what's inside the case? Uh, inside the case, there is two scrolls. First would be where is it? Where is it? Here we are. So go ahead and roll me. Two D four. Uh, two and a three. Two and a three. The first roll is a scroll of alarm. The second scroll Okay. Both useful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have fun, wizard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, how do you deal with learning spells from scrolls? Or is that uh, not a thing? You need special paper and ink to transcribe them into your book. Um, as a wizard, I'd say you, mm, how much gold do you have? I have 17 gold. Um, probably however much worth of gold, uh, in materials, you can mark that off, uh, to transcribe them for this time. Okay, uh... For wizards, it's 50 gold per level and hours. Oh, well, okay. Oh, dear. Yeah, it's a, it, it, it's a lot. Well, dang. However, you are an abjuration wizard, so the, the first one is half. So I just need 25 gold. For that one, anyway. Then another 50 for the other one. We get back over to... Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll just neatly throw those away for the time being. You know, that one guy is not doing a good job putting that out. Um, with an after 20, you see a very tired, exhausted <laughs> bully wolf just step out, lean against the wall, and slide down. Oh, that's smooth. Made a good attempt. Tell give him a thumbs up. He, they just kind of go... They 
That is fair. You may all gain the benefits of a long rest. Okay. <laughs> Ready. I just be preparing my spells for the day. What are spells? Let's shall do the same. I'm gonna I don't have to change anything because it looks like I'm good for it. Cast false life on myself every hour. So, are we gonna... What's first on the agenda for today? Well, he did say we have the run of the village. I suppose we should... Well, she's in the center of the village. Oh, is it um, that easy, really? Looking toward the center of the village, it's mostly obscured by, like, mist, but you do see the outline of uh, a large structure on stilts. And, and then there's... Plus, every time we say her name, it kind of... Thunder... Sh thunder and lightning all, all over above it. Um, and then there's also these the muck stumps, muck bangs, muck, muck stumps. Yeah, muck stumps. Mm. You can see what they want. And that book, you were interested in the book, Joe? Oh, uh, yes. I don't know if I'd be able to learn anything from it, but I might be able to change it a little to our advantage. Oh, uh, what language is here speaking right now? Oh, the A. Uh, I'm sorry, the D16. All right, because it changes every long rest. Yep. I need to know what I'm speaking. You said a 16? Yeah. Just one? Yeah, because we changed up the curse to 10. Uh, when first, uh, first they speak, it's a very beautiful, almost musical tone of language there. You are speaking celestial. Ooh. Indeed. Dang, not one of the ones I have. Wait, wait, wait a second. This, this is not. That's not what they were speaking yesterday. Nope. Yeah, it's less guitar, uh, guitar mouth, and they actually, the, 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 it's quite sing-songy. Yeah. Very uh. Good. Every day, uh, that I'm guessing maybe around sunrise, they are cursed to speak a new language. They can still understand the language they knew before, but. Now they're forced to speak this one. Do you, if it's not a language you knew previously, do you still remember how to speak or read it, or how does no, this work? It's just, a, they, it's just part of what I do. I mean, it's it's only been doing this since last Tuesday, so. You hear very beautiful words that you do not understand. <laughs> Um, I I like what you're putting down. I just don't know what it is. That's normal. Chell's gonna ritual cast uh, comprehend languages again. Probably for the best. <laughs> I mean, I could, but I actually have to use a spell slot to comprehend languages. Yeah. 
Yay, being a wizard. Damn it. The hiccups came back. <laughs> but hey, what would you all like to do? Do we want to find out where this, uh, where these muck stumps are? See what we're getting ourselves into? I feel like we should. We'll that would probably ignore him. Maybe, uh, try and sneak into the holding cells and see who this knight is. Um, I think. I think for I think for Cinder because you got the natural twenty on the history, um, I'll add that uh, you you probably picked up uh, when when Talavar gave you the information that the muck stumps were uh, resided in the southern part of the village. According to you know you know what after sleeping I remembered they're in the southern part of the village. Sometimes, sometimes the sleep just clears up the ashes a little bit. Yes, it stokes the fires to get the light going. Also, please don't try to marry me off next time. I mean, didn't marry you off. I was, I was suggesting you kill him. Well, bath. After suggesting that we ma that I marry him, I mean, it wasn't really me. He didn't understand what I said. Why would you translate that? It would cause a lot of trouble if I did. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to the southern side we go. I mm -hmm. suggest we avoid the center till we're lowered. So we're Actually, ready. twilight yeah. side. All right, let's go. Is is um Gord Boy what's uh still on the bridge? Yeah Clapperclaw? Yeah, Clapperclaw's still uh still there. It looked like it looked like he had um he it looked like he had left and returned. Uh, you see that he's currently carrying um a uh What do I call it? Like a, one of those, one of the, like a, like a corn sack full of like straw and dry twigs and stuff. Hey, hey, Clapperclaw. Yeah? Why don't you, uh, ask the, um, uh, the previous kings, uh, if there are any, uh, loopholes to, uh, um, these trials by combat? And, like, and I'll, and I'll come back. Loopholes, okay. Doing good, kid. <laughs> she gives him the thumbs up. He holds out a ball perfect. And, like, like extends the bottom part of it and holds it out to try and emulate doing a thumbs up. <laughs> I'll try and figure out how to get to the south side of. This village. Uh, I'm guessing I'm going the right way. I can't really see much. Yeah, uh, there's a stone pathway. This is still the burning, the building that was on fire, right? It's still on fire. Still oh, it's more on fire now. It is. It is more on fire now. You'd think with all this water around, they would have dealt with it. You hear, you hear, whee! And when you peer through the window, you see that all these burning coals, the same ones that you had previously seen, Cinder, are just, like, locking, like, tiny little, tiny little, like, coal hands, um, and just cartwheeling around on the inside of this building, leaving, like, a trail of flames. My, uh, hair flares up behind me. 
with the the fiery embers at, at the ends. I'm not encouraging them at all. <laughs> no. And uh, and Shell, when you pass uh, by the front, you see that this bully will catch just falling asleep, exhausted. There's an empty water bucket. Um. In, in their hands, and they're just sitting there like... Okay, that's a dead end. Oh, poor little guy. You can climb through the flaming building. I mean, I could, but they can't. Okay, that way was a dead end. Well, but the things um... that are setting that house on fire are really cute, and I want one. You need to put a stop to it, for sure. Yeah, potentially. But, uh, let's get this dumb path down here. Y'all just, uh, just making your way to the, to the lower side of the village? Yeah. Yep. I can move y'all. Um, actually, are you going by way of this, these, these stones? That's the only way I found. Okay. Um, as you, let me check something real (laughs) quick. Uh, I'm prepared to fall on that. <laughs> I have a feeling I might be casting guidance soon. You know, Vandari, we should get you a pet, a set of mechanical wings. Well, that's then... a thing? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm pretty awesome. sure. Alright. Um, everybody just give me, give me an acrobatics check as you cross the stepping stones. Oh boy. Okay. My roll acrobatics, 20 froze. You said... Yeah. 16. 16. Mm-hmm. I have once again fallen in the water. It's like my roll 20 frozen refreshing. Alright. Is Shell near me when, when they fall in the water? Was that um, back to one? Sorry. <laughs> Oof. God damn it. <laughs> two, two net ones. Okay. <laughs> but here's what happens. Um, you all are crossing. Uh, this year, Cinder, uh, you two are, are getting across easily enough. Um, uh, Joe. As you're crossing, you see um, a face, a face, a face only familiar, <laughs> to, only familiar to you, just kind of sitting on one of these rocks, staring at you. Uh, and you panic and uh, and step backwards. And as you do, um, you bump into Verndari, who kind of like rears back who steps on uh, one of the stones uh, uh, behind them, and you hear a, hey! And the two of you both fall into the water. Sploosh and sploosh on either side. Uh, Zinder, you're probably there. And yes, you do get splashed. What kind of water is it? Is it... right. I was a... I'm a man now. <laughs> so her more feminine, her more feminine features disappear, and I think this is the first time anybody has seen this happen because nobody was around when it happened the last time. We, uh, yeah, we we heard about it, but we didn't see it. Uh, yeah, pretty sure I was unconscious. Yeah, so her more feminine features, her hair still stays the same length, um, 
but her she gets more manly features. She gets a little more muscular, um, a little more stocky than how than the cur curvaceous figure that she had before. And then, uh, as that happens, uh, after you're soaked, um, there is one of these one of these stepping stones kind of like lifts out of the water. And you see it's not just a, not just a stepping stone. It is, whoops. Oh. A turtle. Well. A reef crab. <laughs> what? Oh, it's so cute. It is a stepping stone with a face. And it goes, watch where you're stepping. Sorry. My apologies. Make, make a persuasion check. Should I make it? My persuasion's a plus six. Uh, it's staring indignantly at, at Verndari. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> um, I was trying to climb back on top of this thing, so... Uh, <laughs> what, what did he need? Sorry, persuasion? Yes. Okay. You, you can make it with advantage because the others are helping you. Right in the middle. <laughs> kind of like there, there's like this rocky brow that kind of like shifts and um, and he goes, "I'll forgive you if you sing the apology." Oh. This year we'll just sing it in celestial. <laughs> yeah, do it like she can. Mm, no, that was it. You only get one. So you can, you can try a persuasion check again if you want to sing. Oh, jeez. I, I need to hear it, though. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm sorry that I uh, that I stepped on you, and uh, <clears throat> forgive me, me, me. I won't do it again, again, again. <laughs> Roll it That's it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed it. Two, it's an eleven again. That was pretty good, but it wasn't celestial. <laughs> and he just kind of sinks underwater um, and just kind of disappears uh, as he does though um, you, you hear uh, you, you do hear might want to look out below and something different comes up oh dear ruh -ru. You see? These fishy boys. These fishy boys. Retro! Uh, I'm going to need <coughs> everyone to roll initiative when I get the initiative tracker out. Oh yes. no. Okay, okay guys, I'll marry this thing. <laughs> oh, no, I'll marry this thing. <laughs> uh. Make sure your token is selected. Seems legit. Oh, yeah, these are just regular. Yep. I was thinking, like, I should probably have Mage Armor up as soon as we get up. Yeah. Just so it's there for when shit happens and. I did not cast that. Am I not wrong? Oh, right. Uh, oh, cancel. Uh, 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 character sheet. Uh, don't whisper rolls. Thank you very much.
that's happening, there's going to be a claw attack on both uh, uh, Chell and Vrindari. Uh -oh. That is a 13 on Chell and 22 on Vrindari. Yay, that hits. So, I'm going to use shield. Okay. That should bring my AC up to Oh, uh, 16 turn, temporarily, till next turn. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the shield, the one clawing at you, you feel just like right below the water, um, claws raking against you, uh, you quickly cast the shield and it shoves these claws away. Uh, Verdari, you feel them carving into you. You're a big meal. And uh, that closes the surprise round. Hey, says Sheer, two fish people just popped up and they're trying to eat your friends in the water. Yeah, is there is there a safe spot I can move to on this bridge? Um, or you can still occupy allied spaces, right? Yes, you just can't end your turn there. Okay, easy enough. Weapon damage, ow. <clears throat> okay, so that's good. Let's you see hop I... on that lily pad there, so you're not in the water. Uh, am I am I in somebody's way here? You're in the water. How does that? I can't see with the large token. Um, yeah, I'll be on the lily pad then, so I don't go under. Okay. Um, and then I'm just gonna just leave with the uh, quarter staff. <laughs> so I'll be eight bludgeoning there, and then I will spend a key to martial arts. Alright. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Okay. What? That's an 11. It's me. Nice. And a natural yeah. 20. Uh, so that'll be 11. 11. Natural 20. Jesus. <laughs> you know, I don't want on there as well. Yeah. Uh, so you, you run up uh, along these stones. Uh, you skip over the... Uh, this guy just sank back into the water. He's gone. Um... You, you probably like spring off of Verndari to land on the lily pad and just lay into this uh, this fish boy. Um, and the first catches him by surprise. The second really turns his attention towards you. Um, but he, he, he kind of spins on you. Uh, anything else on your turn? Nope. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, yes. Um... When I land the unarmed strike hits, they can be moved around. Because oh. I open palm. Okay. Um, so, so I want to move them. Um, well, it has to make a dexterity saving throw. Or, you know, uh, strength saving throw. Because that's going to be the push. Can't knock them prone underwater. Uh, it fails. Sweet. So let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna yell fish out of water and then <laughs> <laughs> so you, throw them up here. Yeah, you you the second strike you roundhouse kick him and he just goes he flies over here and then just starts flopping on the ground. A little further he would be up here. Okay. And you you just see you just see, see him going like like quite literally a fish out of water. Mm. Uh, network error. I'm gonna refresh that stream. That's satisfying. Uh, if there's a network error, 
Okay. Not finding me. Yeah, it looks like we just lost connection about 30 seconds ago. Wonderful. The same time I lost connection to uh, my D and D Beyond for some reason. Yes. Yeah. Is there another Amazon server outage? Alrighty. So there's currently uh, fish boy flopping on the ground. Uh, this this one. Uh, whoops, the one next to you, Chell. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> That misses currently, thank you. I'm going to try acrobatics. Get him for it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Real Tawny. Yeah, you can't can. catch me. I'm the wizard man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you, try, you try snagging you, but you're strangely much more deft in the water than, it, than this the thing anticipated. Um, I'm going to wave backwards. You can take an attack of opportunity if you want. Sure. Uh, I'll try Firebolt. That'd be with this advantage since he's. Do you have more I do. Oh, okay. Sure, go for it. Oh. Yes. 13. Just hits. Roll damage. Yay. And damage. Uh, so you, you hurl this this uh, bolt of flame, um, which kind of like sizzles and dissipates a little bit underwater. But uh, that is some that is some square damage there. Flame, fire, I like it. <laughs> uh, this guy on the on the land does not have a walking speed, so he's just gonna he's just gonna. Start crawling 10 20. I'm sorry, 5 10, 15 20. Uh... Oh shit, no, never mind. 5. He does have a walking speed 10 feet, that's as far as he can get. Mm. <laughs> he just kind of worms his way a, a little bit. Um, that's carp, carp, carp. Basically, um, he, he kind of like climb, pulls himself up on, along the wall, has up the harpoon, is gonna hurl it at uh, Zashir. Oh, that's hilarious! Uh, Twenty-one to hit. Twenty-one to hit. Well, guess what? I'm gonna catch it. So when I'm hit by a ranged attack, I can do so. Damage take from the attack is reduced by 1d10. Oh dear. Okay, so that's uh, uh, a two dex plus my dex modifier that makes it six plus monk level is four ten. ten. <laughs> <Nine. laughs> Just exactly. So so he uh, pulls himself up, hurls this harpoon. Um, and you quickly like catch it between the hands and the, the little point is like right just an inch away from your nose. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, then, you know, and then I'll burn a key point to eat it back at him. All right. Uh, so I will just do... What is that damage type? Piercing. 2d6. So I'm just going to make a nat 20 because I don't have a range attack roll. 
Oh, that's a two again. Okay, so I probably missed. Two. Uh, With my proficiency is another two plus four, eight. Eight misses. Yeah. So you hurl it back and it like hits the... Into the, the water or something yeah. silly. Um, but hey, but you took zero <laughs> damage. You did. And you just kind of like quick, quickly reels the line back in. Uh, Jell, you're up. So, Chow's gonna get back up on the stone, and then she's gonna tr they're gonna try another firebolt since that worked well last time. Okay. Seventeen hits. Yay! Two damage. Last time, but not bad. Damage is damage. Um, but you see the um, you see the fire uh, like hit going into the water again. Oh, looks like it's a little bit mitigated um, underwater, but it's it's still hitting. Anything else? That's my turn. All right, Berndari, you're still in the water. I am, um, <clears throat> am I able to determine whether or not all of these rock-looking things are creatures or are some of them actually just rocks? Because I'd rather not step on another person. Uh, you want to spend your action to investigate? Okay. God damn it. They're all probably rocks. Um, rock people. Rock people. Okay. Um, Hard to tell. You know, you, you're not sure. I'm assuming that my movement is like halved in water, right? Halved in water, yeah. All right, I just move twenty feet. Right. Um, is this thing up here still alive? Yep. It looks. Okay. Very uh, surprised that. That just quickly deflected it, its attack. I uh, will throw a javelin. All right, make your attack. Twenty-two hits. Nine damage. Nice. Nice. Wow. This guy looks like he's not having a fun time. Um, no. Yeah, no, I don't think so. All right, you're up, Cinder. Um, I'm going to make my way across these rocks. Okay. Do I need to make another check or anything? Um, not for this. I just wanted to see okay. who was going to step on the, on the guy. All right, I'm gonna move to, I guess, this rock. That's, I think, as far as I can get. And I'm gonna, um, Eldritch Blast that guy. All right. How do you do that movement stuff? Uh, Q. Uh, it's an 18 to hit. 18 does hit. For 10 force damage. Yeah, so if you have your, if you hold your thing and you hit Q, you'll see like an arrow thing come up. Okay, that was some solid damage. Uh, that's you. Uh, I'm gonna... mm. Yield rich blaze. I can't do that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, Sorry, I'm wearing heavy armor. If I get knocked into the water, I'm going to drown. Ah. Oh, you're fine. You're, you're almost.
almost at the at the land. Um, how deep is the oh, water no. over here? Um, do you want to find out? I mean, I could probably just jump it. Uh, it's it's murky water. You can't really see the bottom. It's only fifteen feet. Can I jump it? Oh, you mean the width? No, how how deep is it? As if I can walk across, but if oh. if need be, I can jump it easily. You'll have to jump it. Yeah. No, well, then I'm gonna jump it. All right. I jump it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, I'll just move. And I end up over here, and I say, "Hey," and then I'm gonna hit him again. <laughs> okay. And that one's a miss. Yeah. Uh, my last key point in martial arts. Motherfuck. That one's also a miss. This is why I should just go to sleep. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's me. Okay. Uh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh no, it's commercial. Just. Did we go offline again? No. Still showing that it's going. Just mine then, I guess. All right, um, Jell. This one's yeah. at you. An eighteen to hit. Uh, not in shield. We gotta fake save me from that. All right. Um, you take eighteen uh, piercing damage as this uh, harpoon skewers you. You need to make a strength, uh, strength athletics contest against them. Good luck. The arcane ward takes twelve of that damage. All right. And you said a strength saving throw. Uh, strength you're not gonna. Check. You're not gonna beat it. This is a great. Yeah, this is. A I'm, I'm just gonna see how. Let's see how bad it goes. Let's okay. see how bad it goes. And you get pulled right up to him. Oh, oh shit! Back into the water. Um, that's his turn, though. Uh, he's, he's gonna he's gonna keep it right there. Uh, against the shear, he's gonna bite and jab. Twenty-five to hit, mm -hmm. and twenty-one yeah. to hit. Twenty-two total. Yikes. Okay. Oof. Yep. Yeah. Those are their turns though. Oh. Um so this so this one marrow once you get you run up to it, you've kind of wasted him pretty hard. Um and he's he's already battered and bruised. Probably as much as you are now, but he's he basically back into a corner panic attacks scratching and clawing at you I'll cast Mage Armor. Alright, that's your action. And... Yeah, are you a... Dang, you're full action, not bonus action. And... What I know Sahir is doing badly... I probably don't look good. 60 feet, let me just... Uh, 
Oh, wait, I can't do that because it's a numbered spell. Dang it. Uh, that's my turn. Um, if you're wanting to use your magic initiate because it doesn't use a spell slot, you might be able to get away with it. Uh, yeah, I was wanting to use healing word because it is my magic initiate thing, but... But, I mean, that's up to Shay. Yeah. What are you trying to do? Uh, well, healing word is a bonus action, but it is a level one spell. But I got it through the magic initiative, so it doesn't take up a spell slot. It is just a once per long rest. Uh, it's still a spell, a level spell. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, no worries. Uh, that's my turn. All right. Berndari. What would you like to do? You see, um, you see, uh, you see a, 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 a grounded fish guy chewing on the shear. Yeah, I'm gonna, um, uh, gonna manifest echo and put my echo on that lily pad over there. <clears throat> Uh, I think okay. Last the last comment that we were in, I think I made a mistake because I like I did a bonus action of manifesting it and teleporting to it. I don't think I can do that. Like I think manifesting it is a bonus action and teleporting is also a bonus action. So I think that was a mistake. What's it say on the ability? Yeah, like it says manifest echo one bonus action, manifest echo teleport one bonus action. Okay. Well, the echo's manifested. So. Um. <laughs> but I can tell it to move 30 feet in any direction and no actions required for that. Okay. Um, so can I have it jump towards this year yes, or try and try and like jump that's a pretty far distance to jump mm -hmm. off a lily pad you can, use, you can use your movement to get there okay uh that's just difficult terrain. and then i think i can do an attack from it mm, when you take the attack action any attack you make can originate from your echo space yeah, I'll make an attack from it. All right, go for it. Sorry, I'm new to Echo Knight. Sorry. Twenty-one hits. Nice. Oof. This 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 mare is not looking good, but he's still standing. Well, figuratively standing. He's flopping like a fish out of water. Yes, he is. Okay, so that was a bonus action. That was an attack. Uh, I, myself, still have movement. So for the remainder of my movement, I will move uh, gonna, 20 feet further down. Just gonna paddle. I think that was 20 feet. How far uh, away can your Echo Knight be from you? Um... Oh, right. Okay, I think I, yeah. Uh, hang on, I'm just reading it. thought it was like 30 or 60 feet. I don't remember which, though. I might have misread that too. Wait, can I? Is, that's on my sheet, right? If I click on it, it'll show up in the chat. Yes, it will. Um. Oof, that is a wall God, of text. That's, that's a wall of text. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh dear. What we got? What we got? Green image, shadowy 
I think I think what I misunderstood is the uh, mentally command the echo to move thirty feet. If your echo is ever more than thirty feet from you at the end of your turn, it is destroyed. Okay. Oh. So at the end of your turn, you are currently. Shit. Okay. Well, maybe I won't move then. Yeah. Yeah, I won't move then. So there's a shadowy manifestation of a centaur, uh, also laying into this marrow now. Uh, anything else? No, that's it. I'm sorry, that took so long. No worries. Cinder, you're up! Yeah, I'm gonna get off this fucking rock, because I don't want to... drown. Oh, wait. Just one more th a point of inquiry. Um, um, Cinder brought it up on her last turn. Uh, I'm assuming I'm okay as a... I don't know how many pounds I am with 55 pounds of armor on me. <laughs> I'm assuming I can still swim. Not well. Uh, okay. You're you're kind of floundering. Um, go ahead and give me just give me an athletics check and see. All right, seventeen. Um, you feel like you're. As you're like kind of kicking and splashing, you do feel like your hooves brushing against just like stones and stuff on the bottom. So <laughs> it, it's still it's still well below. It's it's the water still would be above your head, but right. it's okay. it, it's Sorry. deep pool. Yep. All right, Cinder. I'm going to move to there. And I'm going to cast Bless on myself, Shell, and uh, Verndari. You can all add a D4 to any attack, attacks, or saving throw. Right. Anything else on your turns? Um, I don't think so. All right. Um, at the top of the round, uh, you hear the clattering of armor as uh, as bullywogs, bullywog knights, come running up, and actually just a show you how how these guys look in their armor look at them <laughs> that's adorable yeah. <laughs> I like it but uh but the, they come they come bounding up uh, one behind, um, uh, on one side of, uh, uh, Zashir, and the other kind of dives into the water, ah, and, um, uses movement to get, to get up to the side there, and they both, uh, swing their glaives, one spearing out of the water, the other coming down on, uh, on this mirror. Alright, so they start hacking into this guy. Uh, this is year. You see these bullywogs come up and, and start, uh, start chopping into them. Um, it looks like this thing's on death's door. Uh, do you want to make an attack as it tries to run? Yep. Go for it. Twenty-one hits. Twenty-one. Or five. All right. So this thing is just chopped up and bloodied, and you whip the the staff around and and crack it into the side of its skull, and it just flops over and and dead fishes. Right. The other two uh, 
blue little knights on the other side, Cinder, you see them, uh, they both come running up in their armor, uh, and both dive in as well. They, they both, they both swan dive into the, into the water, and then they swing their blade. Alright, Zashir, you're up. Um, Kill the fish boy. He's dead, huh? Okay. And. Uh, I'm gonna just hang back because I'm not looking good. Um. I'm just going to hang back and I will take the uh, dodge action. Alright. Uh, this guy's dead. Uh, Chell, this one sees the, the blues come running up. Um, he's going to try and grab you and run away. Oh, come on. Hey. I'm not Peach, okay? I'm not Peach. You have to beat a nine. Oh dear. Uh, this is athletics or acrobatics? Your choice. Acrobatics it is. Alright. He's swimming around. He's going to use his second attack to try the same thing. Natural 20. Bye. Yeah. Um, he grabs you. He's going to try to flee with you. You feel yourself pulled underwater. Um, the two bully ignites are going to make their attacks of opportunity. <laughs> um... Um, as as he's running though, um, you feel uh, you feel the the grip on you suddenly loosen, and uh, as you come up for water, you see that uh, both of their uh, both of their glaives are hooked into this creature, and it's just kind of like floating in the water. And that's combat, everyone. Ooh. Wow. I did absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. you, you did some damage. You did some damage. Um, but these, uh, the two, uh, two bully wolves in the water, uh, these two knights, both uh, hook an arm around you, Chell, and whoop, again, and they'll never move together, grouped. You have to manually drag them. Yeah. And they they just pull you to the to the shoreline. And uh, one on either side of you. Oh goodness, are you all right, Your Majesty? Just a cup of some water. Uh, what, what were those things? Those were marrow. <sighs> marrow. Yes, and they don't really like the taste of uh, a bullywog, but uh, we didn't expect that they would attack an envoy. Uh, but rest assured, we are ever vigilant. Uh, yes. Uh... Thank you for saving me. Quite welcome, Your Majesty. Do you need anything? Uh, I, I'm quite all right. Uh, my knight, he, they were hurt. Would you have any way to help them? Of course we do. And uh, on the other side, um, uh, this year, uh, Two bully wolves are also slipping their arms around you. Are you all right? I've had better. Well, uh, how should we address a knight of your stature? Oh, I'm only responding in celestial. Oh, yeah. Like, we don't understand what you mean. Yeah, that's normal. And one of them just kind of, like, kicks the, the bloody carcass back into the water. <laughs> um, uh, but, uh, one, uh, one will uh, slip their arm around you and and escort you uh, uh, back to your friends. Uh, one of them does pull out a healing potion and offers it to you. I will gladly take it. All right. I 
don't know what you're saying, but take this. I don't think you can understand me, but thank you. Hmm. Uh, they, they say thank you. Oh, you're quite welcome. That voice is gorgeous, by the way. <laughs> um, I hate to do this again an hour early, mm-hmm. but uh, since we don't have Stefan here, why don't we wrap up an hour early? Okay. Also because I am dying. I am dying. Alrighty. We'll conclude with with that combat there. Um, but hey, y'all got some information. Um, Yay! Learned a little bit more about this village. I don't really feel bad about overthrowing these people. (laughs) With a dark and mysterious stranger. But. Are these knights of the king? Or are they knights oh, of yeah. the uh, of the muck people, muck dumps, or muck muck or, stumps? Or, plot twist: Maybe they're knights of the witch. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Uh... I am gonna give uh, before we end. I am gonna give because I'll forget. I'm gonna give um, Zashir uh, some cure wounds. Nine. I will take another dime. I also, I'm just gonna leave my my echo until I need it. It's just gonna follow <laughs> us. <laughs> awesome. I um, just realized I can just keep it around until I need until I need to summon another one. All right, thank you everybody who popped in to watch. We uh, it got up pretty pretty high there for a little while and then I think the disconnect dropped off a few people but that's fine uh, thank you all for watching tomorrow Shay and I will be playing Mass over on Valdrian's channel um, that one will start a half hour late because of the same reason why I'm so tired because I have training and it causes me to get home late and during the time where I should be asleep so uh, we will be back here Saturday hopefully uh, to continue more Dungeons and Dragons uh, where you will see Shay, Shane Dido Frost all the good people all the the people we love Um, Doogler and Stryker are great too but they're not in that game (laughs) Um, anyways have a great night I'm going to go to bed and crash a little earlier than normal but it's fine See you later. Good night. Good night.